Hello Spider fans and Central Virginia football fans, uh, Satchmo uh, back with another episode of the 2010 Spider Opponents Football Countdown. This week highlighting opponent number nine, the James Madison Dukes. But before we get to the Dukes, take a look and see what you think of this. Uh, <laughs> Satchmo's uh, favorite uh, victory uh, moments uh, with the Spiders over the years and kind of made up for uh, one of my uh, worst feelings ever the year before uh, when uh, JMU stole that game on the Scotty uh, McGee uh, punt return. But if you're kind of old like the old Satchmo, uh, you can probably remember JMU when they were just another great uh, teacher's college uh, up in the uh, valley. Well, now they've evolved into uh, one of Virginia's uh, finest uh, and biggest uh, public universities. You probably know somebody that's going to JMU or uh, maybe even one of your own kids is going there. But you know what? This behemoth uh, university cannot dominate uh, the spiders on the gridiron. The all-time record is 15-12 in the spiders' favor. The Spiders are eight and five in Harrisonburg. JMU, ironically, is five, six and five uh, on Spider uh, turf. In 27 games, the total point differential is 606 Spiders, 604 uh, JMU. Since Coach Matthews came to Harrisonburg in 1999, uh, both teams have been to the. Uh, FCS playoffs five times, both teams have won uh, one national championship. The Spiders during that time have won four CAA championships, JMU has won uh, three. Folks, this is a rivalry. But you know what? The JMU fans, they just got to sprinkle a little uh, additional flavor into it. They belittle their new stadium. They make fun of the clothes we wear, and they just can't figure out why a small, private, liberal arts university with less than 3,000 undergraduates doesn't have a 500-member uh, marching band. But they cannot dominate us. You know, if I was a JMU uh, fan or booster, I think I'd be spending more of my uh, energy uh, asking some questions about why a large university like JMU isn't dominant, can't dominate a small liberal arts uh, football team or the CAA. But anyway, Spider fans, you can bet uh, when JMU uh, comes to the beautiful brand new Robin Stadium on November the 6th, it is going to be a, a great ball game. The rivalry speaks for itself. The competitive nature of it makes it uh, pretty doggone uh, special. I expect uh, the game to have playoff implications, hopefully uh, for both teams. The Spiders will have played uh, at Villanova the week before. JMU will have hosted uh, UMass. JMU is uh, picked uh, to finish fourth in the CAA by the preseason prognosticators, they placed uh, two linemen, one on offense and one on defense on the all-CAA preseason team. So expect the typical. And if you look back at the records, JMU's won three games in a row uh, in Richmond. We've won three games in a row in Harrisonburg. It should be a great uh, matchup. That's all for now, Spider fans. Go Spiders! So long for now.